Does anybody else think it's kind of weird that the solar eclipse that's supposed to happen on April 8th, they're telling everybody to make sure you're stocked up on groceries, to have cash on hand, to make sure you can communicate with your family, fill up your tanks of gas, and expect heavy traffic. This is weird. Nichiwa, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the significance of the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th. Strap in because this is one celestial event you won't want to miss. So why is the April 8th solar eclipse such a big deal? Well, for starters, it's a total solar eclipse, which means the moon will completely cover the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. Total solar eclipses are rare events that captivate astronomers, scientists, and sky watchers alike. But it's not just the spectacle of nature that has people buzzing. Authorities around the world have issued warnings about the potential dangers associated with viewing a solar eclipse without proper eye protection. Staring directly at the sun during an eclipse can cause permanent eye damage, so it's crucial to use certified solar viewing glasses or indirect viewing methods. The advice to fill up gas and stock up on groceries before a solar eclipse, such as the one on April 8th, might stem from cultural or personal beliefs rather than official warnings from authorities. Some people believe in preparing for potential disruptions or changes in normal routines during significant celestial events like eclipses. While there is no scientific basis for these actions, some individuals may feel more comfortable having essentials on hand during such times. Now let's shift gears and explore the spiritual significance of solar eclipses. In Islamic tradition, solar eclipses are viewed as signs from a higher power. The Holy Quran mentions eclipses as reminders of Allah's power and authority. In Surah Al-Kamar verse 1, it states, The hour has come near, and the moon has split. While this verse is often interpreted metaphorically, some believers see it as a reference to eclipses and their role in signaling the end of times. Narrated by Abu Bakr, We were with Allah's apostle when the sun eclipsed. Allah's apostle stood up dragging his cloak till he entered the mosque. He led us in a two-rocket prayer till the sun eclipse had cleared. Then the prophet, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon do not eclipse because of someone's death. So whenever you see these eclipses, pray and invoke Allah till the eclipse is over. So, is the world ending on April 8th? In Islam, predicting the exact timing of the end of time, day of judgment, is not permitted. The knowledge of when it will occur is only known to Allah. While there are signs and prophecies mentioned in Islamic texts that indicate the approach of the end times, they are meant to serve as reminders for believers to prepare themselves spiritually rather than for making precise predictions. Instead, let's focus on appreciating the beauty and wonder of the universe, whether it's through the lens of science or spirituality. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. And remember, always view solar eclipses safely. Until next time, happy sky watching, and don't forget to pray two rakats at the time of solar eclipse.